Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every boss, 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 and boss in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man who I'm pretty sure has GERD, Will Hughes. Yeah, Gary, I've probably got any number of like gastrointestinal disorders, so. Ah, oh, me too, Let's baby. Let's bring it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Let's list them. I, uh, Gary, I, I was just thinking like, what if there was like a park where we could both take our tapeworms and they could run around and play? Oh, gastrointestinal park. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's literally a Rick and Morty episode, but. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, hoodwinked me. Uh, I got I got tricked. Yeah, that's what I do, Gary. I'm the I feel like I'm the Mister Miss Pizzlex of this podcast. Joker, <laughs> Mister Mix Pixelit Joker. Ooh, I mean they did yeah. that. That's uh, a yeah, what I Emperor Joker. Did, yeah. yeah, well, that was that was just more of like uh, them hanging out. No, and, he like, gets Mister Mix Pixelit helping him. Yeah, but well, Mister Mix Pixelit doesn't get Joker powers. I, the, it's the other way around. He doesn't get hyper consciousness or whatever Grant Morrison has decided is the Joker's power. Yeah, that's true. Uh, speaking of the Joker's power, it's Boss Sunday. There's more to life than boss. So take a chance and face the boss. An open road and a road that's hit. Brand new boss. Around the boss. Gary, real quick, pitch me on how uh, the Joker would function as a boss in the Binding of Isaac. Ooh, interesting. Um... I think that he would leave items that were like mimics that would explode to kind of reference his like, you know, leaving gifts. Oh shit, Gary. Can I, can I, can I add on? Sure. What if, if Joker was the boss you rolled for the floor, he popped up throughout the level to fuck with you. Ooh. That's a space this game don't work in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't really work in mimics in general. True. Like I was, I always thought that, that Binding of Isaac could use a mimic. Yeah. It's got the spike chests, but. Those yeah, aren't that, that, really trying suck. to trick you. Yeah. And so, yeah, he shows up. Um, he does things like, um, like, I would feel so much better about Curse the Lost if it was just like there's a little Joker sound effect when it happened. Mm hmm You know? What's it? Just real quick. Let's hear what that would sound like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Just perfect. That's my, my Joker laugh. Um, what if it, whenever anything bad happened to you, you heard a Joker laugh? Uh, I would assume I had developed schizophrenia. I would I would really go yeah. to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> in a big bad way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd take a big old trip to the hospital. Yeah, I would take a big old lift <laughs> to, to the doctor place. Um we're talking about Mama Gertie. A weird fucking boss. A weird, not entirely successful boss, but the final of the Gertie family. Yeah, we've gone from little uh, girdlings mm -hmm. to Gertie Jr. Mm -hmm. to to big old Gertie himself or herself. Yep. And now we have then, this weird thing. Gertie's mom has got it going on. I want to have sex and I don't care if it's statutory. <laughs> I want to have sex and I'm young and I'm ready. Um, With Gertie's mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yeah. Isn't it so weird that our culture considers statutory rape? Like basically kind of fun and good if it's an older woman and a younger man. There's certainly more acceptable versions of it in the cultural consciousness. I just, I remember like that being a big stand-up comedian thing being like, oh yeah, lucky kid. What do you get in trouble with? Too many high fives? Stuff like that. I was like, oh no, he got in trouble because his brain wasn't capable of making a decision. Yeah. What's the and, matter uh, with him? Did he orgasm too hard? Yeah. Nope. He probably needs counseling. Like it's still pretty fucked up. Hey, what's uh, wrong? Did his life get turned into an Adam Sandler movie with Andy Samberg? Exactly. You remember that movie? I remember uh, trailers for it. I never saw it. I didn't what is see it. Called? Uh, that's called That's My Boy, in that's which a 13-year-old Adam Sandler has sex with his teacher, gets her oh, pregnant, boy. and then the baby grows up to be, Ad uh, to be Andy Samberg. And also his best friend is Vanilla Ice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And it's still only like the third most regrettable Sandler movie. Put that gem back in the tumbler. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Gary, the whole point is that the gem in Uncut Gems is not put through a tumbler. So it still has a lot of the natural rock attached. To it's it. uncut. It's uncut. Yeah. Um, KG. Speaking of uncut, KG. this podcast. KG. Yep. KG. KG. Kajit. Kajit. Kajit has wares. <laughs> um, what if he slipped one? I don't even seen the movie yet. No. What if he slips one of those in? Because he yelled. One Kajit. Adam Sandler spends about 20% of that movie yelling, Kajit! Yeah, I, I'm going to see it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go see well, it. Well, I've ruined 20% of it. You've ruined 20% <laughs> of it. It's now can top out at a B minus. Yep. For me. 
Um, so this boss is implied to be bigger than what we see. Yeah. Uh, in that, like, because even like the, the icon is just a big old hand. Yeah. Yeah. And it really suggests that in the Isaac cosmology, all mothers are bigger than the screen. That's true. I would, I would buy that. Because if the closest thing this has to like a similarity in design is mom. Yeah. Who we haven't talked about yet, but who does not fit onto the screen. Yeah. Mom or, um, you know, a little, or like a uh, day long legs a little bit. Yeah. You know, things like that. There's, there's some like things that come in from off the screen. Yeah. Uh, but this is by far the biggest one. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. and it's a big face, two little like chubby baby hands. It's very like tumored and calloused coming from the top of the screen and doing like a couple gentle bullet hell things. And then a bullshit attack where spikes come up from the ground. Yeah. Uh, just, I'm going to say, uh, now that I think about it, I think in terms of like design, I bet this shares like a lot of code with mega Satan. Oh, sure. Uh, which is also a boss that only stays at the top of the screen. Uh, and does like the Lavos manman machine kind of thing with the hands, but way more successful. Oh yeah. 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 Mega Satan's the best, Probably the best fight in the entire game. I think this is a pretty bad boss. It like, is. I love the flavor. Hey, you got the weird. Oops. Hey, you got the weird. At least you look like a teddy bear. You look like a so, teddy bear. I just found out. So the trivia just said <laughs> yeah. it's a reference to a fan animation, which I've never seen. Oh, yeah. I watched that earlier today because I do fucking research for this show. Yeah. No, I know. Because it, well, it's because, you know, you're, you're the, the professional. It's true. I'm a yeah. professional podcaster. Um, and I just, uh, just clicked on it and I didn't think it would autoplay because usually YouTube start on mute for me. Oh, weird. Uh, oh, I know why it is. Please. It's because I'm logged in under, uh, the duck feed YouTube account because I was looking at comments on my uh, darkest dungeon. Let's play. Yeah. Uh, how are the comments going? Good. People are nice. Yeah. Weird. Internet. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't saying it. People are nice in general. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think awesome. humanity cool. is ultimately good. Yeah, people are we're doing great. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize this was a fan animation. Uh yeah, and it's not interesting or particularly funny. No, I did not look funny based yeah. on the seven seconds I just listened to. Um, hey Gary, we all listen to him. Yeah, I guess <laughs> the seven <laughs> seconds you guys just listened to. Um, it's pretty shitty. Uh, the problem with the spikes is that uh. The, the only real way to avoid them is kind of move around and hope. Yeah. I get, you have like a, a, like a half second grace period before they go off. Yeah. But it's, it's not, it's kind of like not that kind of game. Yeah. You know, where it's like, I'm going to make this minute dodge and this little thing. And then she shoots out waves of like bullet hell bullets in like a spread, which she will do while the spikes are still out. Yeah. Which is difficult. Um, and then she has like a blood blast, like a, like a, a brimstone. Yeah. It's, it's a real hodgepodge of shit. Yep, just a bunch of miscellaneous, you know. I don't think in general the bosses in this game got better. No, no. The theme with some exceptions. Like, I think, like, Greed is a great fight. You know, we'll talk about that. There's some really good fights. Yeah, and um, I, I would go so not, far. I mean, uh, Ultra Greed, the, the Greed Mode boss. Yeah, uh, I would go so far as to even say Hush. I I know we're going to have a long conversation yep. about that that someday. But yep. this- I don't like Hush. But this, this is this is bad. I think we can agree. This is not super great. Like, it's impressive the first time you see it. Yeah. Yeah. In Anti-Birth, the uh, Anti-birth content that's coming report. soon, uh, the ultimate boss of that, the the secret floor boss of that, is a much more successful version of this. Mm-hmm. Um, the screen zooms out. Ooh. Like, it is a big wall-filling boss, but the screen actually zooms out. And it is way more successful, more interesting bullet hell attacks. You know so what would be a good just... boss in this game, Gary? Hmm. Joker. Oh, the Joker. I actually think that would work. I think what would happen is uh, there would be like pools of acid throughout the floor. Mm. And then he would like kind of pop out and like kind of flop along the ground like a fish, leaving behind like trails of bullets and bombs and then Mm. dive back in. And if you got to the end of the level without managing to kill him, you would end up in like a uh, whatever it is, the Final Fantasy boss. It's like the death wall or whatever. Uh, okay. They would start moving toward you, and you would have that long to kill the Joker. Maybe, and maybe the wall itself is made out of clowns. Okay, uh, I like that so far. Yeah, uh, but also then uh, when the wall is just about to crush you, uh, the Joker gives a big smile and says, "Just a joke." Just his famous catchphrase. Yeah, and then the game ends. Just, then the game. Well, that's the end of the game in this version. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I that's, what, that's what the same type of boss you were talking about does. Yeah, basically. Cool. 
it's a basic Joker scenario. Yeah, real real BJS. Yeah, B, real BJs. <laughs> uh, hey guys, you guys down for BJs? Hey, hey, hey big hey, Joker hey, scenarios. These ain't fake BJs, buddy. These are the real They're, BJs. These are real. These are real. These are. This is a a genuine uncut BJ. Um, Adam Sandler is Joker. Adams, that might you know. Did I just speak? Might be right. Did I just speak something into the universe? <laughs> you you might have honestly. I mean, because everyone's getting a turn at the Joker wheel now. It's true, you know, which is pretty strange as a as a world to live in, but it's true. This might be too derivative of us, but Lupita would be a good fucking Joker. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, you know, Gary, who's your dream um, Joker? My dream Joker. Dream Joker, um, cause I don't want to joke alone. <laughs> the, um, yeah, dream Joker, I know. Um, dream Joker, get out of my dreams. Maybe you know. I and think it's about my time. Joker mobile. I think it's about time for a fat Joker. Interesting, Jeff Garland. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> cause you say that, Gary, and my mind immediately goes to Larry David. Yeah, Larry yeah. David, much better answer. But like, I just I, I think it's time for body 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 positive. Yeah. Why isn't joker. there more body positivity in, in yeah. on the internet? Body, posi- body positive sex joker, like Lizzo Joker, give it to me. Shit. Twerk Joker, Lizzo Joker you know? would be pretty good. I'm very yeah. into the idea of Larry David. Uh, I don't know that it would ever happen, but like an episode yeah. of Curb where Jeff, who doesn't play Jeff Garland in the show, but anyway. Yeah, Jeff Garland and Larry David are arguing about which one of them has to be Batman and which one has to be the Joker. <laughs> be into that. I mean that. Oh, you know uh, what's it? What's his uh, J. Smooth or what's the uh, J. B. Smooth? What's the J. B. Smooth be good Joker? He would be. He's got a you know he's yeah. got a chaotic energy. There's a surprising number of good Jokers in that Richard Lewis. It's almost a surprising number of good Jokers on Curb. Enthusiasm. Yeah, Curb has strong uh, Joker energy. Can I say something? And I don't like it, but it's in my head now. <laughs> yes, please. Kevin Spacey Joker. Ooh, Kevin Spacey Joker. Well, I do declare that it's time to play a prank upon the Batman. Yeah, you know that's not his real accent, right? <laughs> no, I don't. I, does he? Um, <laughs> does he? Yeah, does he has a better comeback than what I said? <laughs> no, the um, yeah, as the president of the Joker Academy, I gotta say that it is. It's time to put away the Me Too's and put away the fussing and dollaring about sexual harassment in the Joker industry. Gary, can I hear a quick scene between Cajun Kevin Spacey and Gambit? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, it's pretty hard to do a scene with myself, but I'll try here. Uh, Hello, I'm the Joker. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Ask Joker. <laughs> Who am I listening? This is, this is the Joker still, okay. <laughs> I is that Joker played by me, Kevin DeSpacey. <laughs> and then uh, does Gambit enter yeah. the scene at some Gam- point? Gambit's watching it on <laughs> on the the Windows ninety five computer in the expansion base, basement. He goes, "Dead good, Gambit, take note." See, there's a subtle difference between those two voices. There absolutely is. I was looking yeah. forward to hearing it. Yeah, uh, there was. Right. Um, if you like this show, what should people do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't even my I mean, mind you know, can't fathom that idea. Yeah, it's a pretty at this point we're pretty deep in it. Like I think that the people who are with us now are our people. I genuinely love people who listen to the show. I feel like it's a really you're our people. Yeah. Because you put in a lot you put in as much time as you we put did. a lot of work into liking you know, this. Yeah, it and and we can just do be like you could say like, hey, can I get a quick Frank Underwood Joker? <laughs> cross gambit thing and then we just do it and people there are people who are listening to this who are like yeah this is to me this is content yeah this is content you know? <laughs> like and i appreciate you i appreciate that we we birth some people like that into the world i know what motherhood feels like now you know yeah it's it, gary that's the thing Co- motherhood, couple twin khaleesi's motherhood mother of dragons is larger mm-hmm. than all of us that is true that's kind of a call back to the discussion about mothers and isaac right yeah a little bit thank you a little bit a little bit patreon.com slash duck tv Mm-hmm. I got a, you want a, you want a long review to bring in, bring us home. Yeah, let's let's bring it home. Yeah, this is from Jimbo Jangle. This is five stars. This is on Apple Podcast, where you can also leave a review. We haven't had one in a second. Mm-hmm. Portland nerds go squeak squeak chicken wings. Duck feed B listers Gary Butterfield and not Cole Ross <laughs> lick the unhealing wounds of their own, of their self esteem in what is ostensibly a zero effort podcast, but which still manages oh. to be funnier than me at my best. Oh. Tune in for such moral quandaries as Wiggle Will, 
Gary anytime he tries to do a small British child character, and the rapidly mm-hmm. deteriora- deteriorating psychological state of two grown men who express genuine love to each other by trying to hurl the most subtle possible insult. Five sh- out of five, you should listen, but I won't make any guarantees for the quality as I'm too afraid to re-listen to old episodes on the chance that it was all a horrible fever dream and I'll suddenly wake up in a cold sweat in 1998. Duckfeed B-Lester. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, that's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. No, 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 um, no, 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 no. KP. No, 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 no. No? No, that's how we end the show now, Gary. Oh, oh, yeah. No, 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 It's kind of low energy. I'm going to go back to good night. I like, I like, no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no,